Okay, so hi and welcome to the second video in the uh, Python 101 video series. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over MADS operators, numbers, and how to save a Python program. So let's get started. So obviously this isn't a Python program because I can only do one line at a time. And I can't run multiple commands because as you can see, if I go up and I try to type things, it won't let me. So uh, obviously this isn't how we create proper Python programs. So uh, I'm going to show you how you do that now. So uh, obviously we go to file and we go to new window. And what this does is it creates a new Python window. Except this window is different from the original Python shell. Because um, this window uh, allows us to do multiple lines like any other text editor. So I'm just going to resize it. Okay. So uh, obviously we can do multiple lines and create proper scripts in this window. Uh, but you have to save your programs, but you don't in the other one. So to save our program, we go to File, we go to Save As. And as you can see by default, it says localhost C and then Python 27. So I'll go to Desktop. And then as you can see, it says Python files and it says .py and .pyw. So I'm going to save it as um, test uh, 123.py and obviously you have to use the .py extension or you can use the .pyw extension so I'm going to save it as test123.py and here it is here so what I'm going to do is I'll type in print whoops print and I'll just write hello world and then uh, exclamation mark so here's our python script it's amazing obviously and we're just going to click run module or F5. So what this does is it takes us back into the original Python shell and it runs our script. Which is exactly the same as if we had just typed it in here. So as you can see it's identical. The advantage with this is uh, you can create proper Python scripts and uh, you can... Uh, run them through the Python shell. So now we've done that, I'm going to go over what the uh, main point of this tutorial was. Maths and numbers. So obviously in Python you can do um, maths, so you can do 1 plus 1 and it gives you 2. You can do 8 minus 7, it gives you 1. You can do 8 minus 9, it gives you minus 1 obviously. Uh, you can also do 3 times 7, which gives you 21 you can do 3 divided by 2 and you get 1 and obviously uh, on here we run into a problem obviously 3 divided by 2 isn't 1 3 divided by 2 is 1 and a half uh, and the reason this is giving us 1 is because in Python if you uh, these numbers are treated as integers because that's what they are so in Python if you give it, if you divide an integer by an integer uh, Python is going to give you an integer so what you have to do is you have to create a float because a float can handle decimal points, which is why it's called a floating point number. Uh, so uh, a float has to, you have to make these three numbers into a float, and we do that by just typing three point zero divided by two point zero, because the uh, three point zero and three are identical; they're, ident they're exactly the same number, except Python treats this original one as a float or as an integer divided by an integer. And it treats this as a uh, float divided by float because it has the decimal point in it. Uh, you can also just leave out the zero, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we'll just hit enter and obviously I was right in, and we get uh, 1.5. Uh, but what if we wanted to find the remainder? So if we did 3 point, uh, 3 point divided by 2 point, uh, it works obviously. Uh, but what if we want the remainder? So if we did 3 point divide by, or if we did 3.2 divide by 1.6 obviously we get, we get 2.0, that's no remainder, so uh, do 3.2 divide by not point eight. okay, I forgot, I'm so bad at this today alright, so 2.1 divide by 3 and here we go, we get a long number so, uh, to find the remainder, we just could do 2.1, and then instead of the, div uh, the slash for the divide, we could just do a percentage and then 3. 
and this will give us the remainder, is, which is uh, 2.1. Uh, so let's try it again with another number. Um, 3 divided by 2.5. Uh, it's going to give us 1.2, so there's our uh, answer, and then uh, let's see, we have a remainder. So 3 divided by 2.5, or uh, not divide, 3, and then percentage sign 2.5, gives us 0.5, so our remainder is 0.5. Uh, and that's basically it for this tutorial. That's uh, maths covered, and how to save a Python script and run it through the Python shell. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and favorite and subscribe if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to the show. Uh, in the next video, we'll probably be going over variables, modules, things like that. So once again, don't forget to comment, rate or comment, like and subscribe on the video or the, don't forget to uh, like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and to uh, the show if you enjoyed it. So uh, I'll see you next time.